Now I'd like to show you how to make this purse. It is just so cute. Look at the little gathers, embellishment, little side pockets here on the outside. The inside is set up to be just great. We'll teach you how to use the interfacings to make it just like a quality purse. You're going to have fun with this and the pattern's available on our website. Now we've laid out our purse. We've added the uh, amount for a larger purse here at the top just with paper and tape and we've we're using a 60 wide really cool kind of a metallic uh, vinyl and it's got this suede backing now normally on the outer layer of the purse I would uh, do this bonded uh, fleece on the back to give it that body but this gives it that body already so I'm not going to do that I have um, the salvages have been placed together so I had a fold and then I folded it again and placed the main section here the fold on the fold so there's actually two pieces here since it's been folded twice and then I'm going to cut it out and I only folded it up to here so here's my side purse so it will only have two layers that I cut and there's also room to put my flower here so with this 60 wide you can get um, the outer purse with just this 16 inches of your 60 wide which is way cool and then we'll show you the lining now we've done the same thing with the lining We've folded it up and so that it will accommodate this main piece and we've got our side piece and our pocket which we didn't show you on the outer layer but it all fits on there and the flower and there is still some extra fabric in here for doing the zipper pocket and then we'll need from the lining we're going to need another section for our large um, open pocket inside so the lining takes a little more fabric but that is our our layout really easy to do now we'll show you the other concepts in this purse now for this outside side pocket we'll show you that you start by making your pocket and I put the interfacings in the fleece on the insides and I am going to put a um, piece of fabric contrasting fabric if you like wrong sides together folded and then along the top edge of this pocket so a quarter of an inch when you turn it right side out you get this nice little contrasting pocket now if you don't want a contrasting pocket you can add an inch to the top of your pocket just sew your lining and your outside fabric quarter of an inch turn it so it's wrong size together and top stitch and then we're going to insert our elastic now this is a little half inch tuck on the bottom of the purse and when we tuck that it will fit right here on the side on the side of the purse just perfect but then of course our top is a little wide so we've put our elastic in there and we're going to just pull it till it winds up with the sides of this um, side outside part and this is what it looks like now we've added our main outside part to the sides then we'll add our other side and of course there's a little seam allowance added here so you'll know placement and then we'll place it um, on the side here uh, and sew it now now we'll sew those two sides to our other main piece now I'll show you the principle of the corners this is from our pin cushion pockets but it's the same thing so we sew it all the way around so we've got our sides and our main pieces sew it across the bottom and then what we'll do is open it like this and sew across the the top here and this is what boxes the bottom of the purse now to shape the bottom of the purse we're using this very very stiff um, pelon it's uh, bonded on one side you can buy it bonded on both sides but you don't you just need it on one side now I'm going to measure the bottom of the purse the width and the length and cut that um, thick cardboardy 
uh, pellon and I'm going to put it down here the bottom of the purse on the inside so the corners match up with the corner side uh, section and I can heat set that but it's still not enough so I'm going to machine sew on the very edge and this is what really gives that body to the purse is this uh, right here in the bottom okay now the sides of our purse have been uh, sewn and we've marked from the top edge our three inches down from the top now we've cut our casing fabric here and just put it together now it's not going to show so it doesn't matter if it's right size together wrong size together we've and we've put the two open or the two raw edges along that line so the fold is up in the three inch area we'll sew a quarter of an inch on that raw edge then this is going to be folded down we'll sew right on that folded edge making our casing and then we've got uh, one inch elastic that will be fed through this casing and pull the shape of the purse in. Now the inside lining has a large pocket on one of its main sections and what we've done is where this bumps out was a seam for our side unit and we've marked like a half an inch across um, this whole area from that little bump out and then we've made our pocket is just a piece of fabric folded and the dimensions are in your pattern we've also put interfacing um, iron on there that's what makes it more like a quality purse it's a quality of lining and the special interfacing that gives it body and <clears throat> we're gonna we've zigzagged this raw edge where we folded it so that the wrong sides are together and this is a raw edge and we're going to put that along that line that we've marked okay and then we're going to just sew a quarter of an inch across this will fold up so that the raw edges are inside the pocket and then we'll sew down the middle to make it two pockets then when we put our uh, sides on then the side pockets are enclosed. So this is really an easy little pocket to add into the lining. Okay, the zipper pocket is super easy. We've taken our paper pattern and we've uh, cut out another piece of lining fabric and put it on the back of that and the right sides together with the fabric we just sew on the outside rectangle shape with like a tinier stitch. Then we've cut on the inside lines and we don't want to cut through our stitching but just right up to that stitching then we're going to take the paper out and turn that piece of fabric um, through the opening like that press it so that it's just really neat little rectangle okay then we line up our zipper um, in that opening so that the zipper mechanisms right in the middle and that the edges are even and that with a, a zipper foot that will allow us to sew right on the edge we'll sew on the edge and that will secure our zipper then the pocket lining is a piece of fabric folded the dimensions are in your pattern we're going to sew one side to the one side of the zipper and one side to the other side of the zipper seam and then we're going to press the uh, lining to one side this will be the bottom of the purse and then we will um, come and machine sew up the side of that zipper so that the pocket for that zipper will all be enclosed really is pretty simple and it looks so professional now to finish the lining we're going to do just as we did for the outside we're going to sew the sides to the main part uh, of our pocket lining and then we're going to sew along the bottom edge and then we take that opening and sew across and that will box the um, bottom of our purse then I've taken I really like these professional handles they're not very expensive you can get them with your coupons and things and I just put a tab and I like to face the tab with an interfacing so that it's nice and and it has a lot of body to it and then we've just tabbed in our purse handle on the top edge 
of the uh, purse. Remember that we've left a side of the lining open that we're going to turn the whole purse right side out through. Now with our lining finished, we can see where here's our large pocket that we showed how to, it goes on that main piece and our um, zipper pocket all on the lining. The zipper pocket on one side and our large pocket, pocket on the other side. Okay, now I don't have the elastic done in this outer part of the purse, but um, I'm just showing you how the lining and the outer purse are placed right sides together and then we're going to sew along this outer edge all the way around and that will um, put our little tabs for our handles are in there and then we will turn the whole thing right side out through this lining and then we'll just hand blind stitch that lining close. To make your flower, Xerox your pattern and put it on top of two pieces of fabric that are right side together. I also like to take that fabric and use my iron-on pal on our fleece, sew on the outside solid line, cut on the outside dash line, and the inside dash line. Take your paper out now. If you want this flower to be larger, you can enlarge it when you copy it, or you can make a smaller circle on the inside. It'll be a little less gathered, but it won't be that noticeable. Okay, and then you're going to take, after you take your paper out, turn it right side out and just gather the opening. And I like to do the same number of stitches on each petal to make it look uniform like that. Now we've blind, we're just blind stitching these flowers stacked um, on top of each other. Just take little tiny stitches and uh, really make them secure. I've used um, a covered button for this center thing which I just think is classy. They're easy to use and there we've got the the flower that is just so cute on here and you can stagger the petals a little bit and I think you'll just have a lot of fun with this purse.